move into some more advanced topics of categories, mainly the subcategory display mode. But before we do that, what I want to do is clean up our category structure here real quick. So we'll go to inventory categories. And I actually want to call this, let's say, long sleeve shirts. And I want to call this short sleeve shirts. And I'll call, actually, I want to add another category here and call that t shirts. And that'll be cool. Now we're going to click here to publish, refresh, and now we got some meaningful subcategories under shirts. All right, so we're done with that. Now let's talk about subcategory display modes. What we're going to do is we're going to click on advanced view for shirts from here, which will take us directly to the details page for shirts. I'm going to close this out for the category descriptions and open up customizable subcategory display. Now, there's two modes here. The first one deals with text subcategories like this. The second one really deals with graphics. So right now, we're only going to deal with display mode one until I show you how to do category graphics, and then we'll start playing around with display mode two. But display mode one, when it's nothing, it's actually set to top. So if we set this to top and click Save Changes, and then go to the front of the store and hit refresh, it'll look identical to what we just had because it's the same thing. But if we change it to left side, we will have a different display structure for our subcategories, namely that all the subcategories will now be on the left side like here, and then on the right side will be the actual categories and the category information and the products. And on the right side will be the actual products and category description information for this particular category. Subcategory display columns only works when subcategory display mode is set to top. So we'll set that to top and we'll set this to 3. And we'll click Save Changes. And we'll go to the front. And now instead of having it 1, 2, and 3, we have all three across because we asked for three columns. If we set this back to 2, which is the default, and click Save Changes, and then go to the store and refresh, we'll see what happens it goes into two columns. And that's it for subcategory display modes. What we're going to talk about next is category graphics. And then we're going to come back to the other subcategory display mode. All right.